It's Justin here at SEMA 2024, and we're with Todd of Powermaster Performance, checking out some of their new HPR series alternators. And uh, these things are really cool, and it's testament that alternators are not just alternators when it comes to you guys. You build a bunch of performance and cool features into these things. So Todd, run us through the brand new HPR series. The HPR series is a new style alternator. It's like a hairpin replacement alternator is what it means. But what they're really focused on is making a high current at low RPM. And again, here we got electric fuel pump, dual fans, air conditioning. Everybody likes the big numbers at top end from ignition coils to alternators. They want to see the high numbers, but you spend most of your time at lower RPM, sitting in traffic lights, sitting in lines, even with overdrive transmissions, engines running at 1800 RPM. So with all that current being sucked up by everything, we've really focused on the design internally and stuff and the materials and are able to make a lot of current at low RPM. For instance, our low small frame HBR alternator will make 145, 150 at idle, and then come up to like 175, 180 at higher RPM. And then for the late model cars, for the LS, the Hemi, the Coyote, we're looking at 195 amps at idle and 250 at top end. Man, that's really cool. So, you know, I've never really thought about it like that. You know, you know you're know, you selecting an alternator is kind of selecting like your camshaft operating range in an engine. You know, if you know you're just gonna kind of daily drive and street drive the car, you don't pick some giant race cam that only makes power up top. So this is um good, useful charging and power where you need it the most. Yes, and when people come into the booth, you know, and they say, hey, I'm looking for an alternator and they're looking for that, it's like, all right, let's start adding things up. You got a fuel pump, you know, 15 to 25 amps right there. You got two fans, another 30 each there. Your air conditioning blowing cold, and it just all stacks up. And people sometimes don't realize how much current they're using at the time. Yeah, I've never really thought about that. You know, that's a good tip when you're figuring out your build, you know, putting your car together to really figure out what kind of amp draw you're going to have and what kind of HPR you're going to need. Yes, and now again, we have them uh, we, for all the muscle cars that are now running fuel injection electric fans. For the GM guys, the Chevy guys, we have a direct bolt in for that, same pattern. Comes with a V pulley or a serpentine pulley if you're running a belt drive system. And then for the late model guys with coyotes and those, we have the large ones. And again, an important thing we use is we always use a stock diameter pulley so you don't have to change your belt either. Um, and that's huge. So we're not overdriving or underdriving the alternator. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And then on even some of them, we put on the decoupler coil. Coyotes had a clutch coil. So we'll have that on there too. So it just functions as a complete OEM style alternator, but with a whole lot more juice. I always like to ask, when is this stuff gonna be available? This is all available right now. So head over to summitracing.com and pick yourself up one of these HPR alternators. If you're not sure exactly what you need, make sure to call us or the folks over at Powermaster Performance to get you exactly what you need. So until next time, guys, I'm Justin with Summit Racing. I wanna thank Todd here again for talking to us and we'll see you guys later.